We have an ionic compound plus an ionic compound, which makes this a double replacement reaction. Once you know that it's a double replacement reaction, you're going to put first and last together. First is the calcium, Ca. I will not carry over any subscripts, but it doesn't have one. And then last is the sulfide. I will not carry over a subscript there either. I want to now balance the charges between calcium and sulfide. Calcium has a positive 2, sulfide has a negative 2, and plus 2 and minus 2 are going to balance or cancel with one another. Next, we're going to put the third, which is potassium, and second together, which is the nitrate, potassium and nitrate. So on the right side, I'm going to put K for potassium, do not carry over the two. And then for nitrate, I'm going to bring the N, the O, and the three, everything inside of the parenthesis, but it's because nitrate is NO with a 3 for that polyatomic ion. So I do have to carry that 3 over to the right hand side. Notice that it has a charge of a negative 1. So we'll put negative 1 for the nitrate and then we'll come look up potassium's charge is a positive 1. And then positive and negative 1 will balance or cancel with each other. So now I can balance the coefficients. We have one calcium, one calcium. I'm going to balance the nitrate, the NO3, as a bundle. So I'm going to circle NO3 on both sides of the equation and balance it as a bundle. We have 2 times 1 is 2 nitrates on this side, but only 1 nitrate on this side. So I'm going to fix it by putting a big 2 in front because 2 times 1 will give me 2 nitrates to balance these 2 nitrates. Now we have 2 potassium on the left. This gives me two potassium on the right, and then I have one sulfur on the left, one sulfur on the right. So this is now a balanced equation. Final answer is one calcium nitrate and one potassium sulfide react to form a calcium sulfide and two potassium nitrates.